What is going on guys, Veselin is here. Today I'm going to show you a vending machine circuit. A circuit I did together with our colleague Rosan Kusakov. So, the logic of the vending machine is the following. First comes the operator of the machine. Here he stocks the four different products and enables the machine. Then comes a customer who wants to drink water for example. He puts one door and presses the button for water. Then he receives his change and gets his bottle of water, while the total number of water in the machine is decreased by one. We have used the logic of dividing the vending machine in smaller subparts, each having its own purpose. For example, the bank sub circuit takes care of the amount of money the customer has put in the machine. We have used priority encoder combined with multiplexer to get the input from the customer. When the customer puts money, the priority encoder tells the multiplexer what kind of coin was put and its value is added to the total amount. The priority encoder is active as long as the total amount of money put by the user is less than $1 or 64 in hexadecimal. When the customer vends a product, the amount of money in the bank is reset to zero. The next sub-circuit is the product circuit where we are keeping the quantity of a product. To do so, we have used a counter. When restock is 1 and vent is 0, the value in the counter becomes 50 or 32 in hexadecimal. And when restock is 0 and vent is 1, the value in the counter decreases by 1, because the customer has successfully bought something. Also, the operator is notified when the quantity of a given product gets less than 5. The activator sub-circuit receives a signal from the bank sub-circuit indicating the total amount collected. The activator outputs the BCG total and change values and gives a signal to the dispenser sub-circuit when a certain price, 25 cents, 50 cents or 75 cents or one dollar is reached. The activator sub-circuit has one input from the bank in cash which is connected to the bank sub-circuit output and contains the amount of coins and nodes deposited. The output is then connected to a binary to BCG device and is transformed into a deposited output. Then the in cash is sent to a comparator which is compared with a different value based on the product's price. If the amount is greater or equal than the price, an activate output is activated. Finally, the in cash is sent to a multiplexer which is connected with vent inputs through priority encoder and outputs the price until the comparator indicates that more than a product's price is in the bank. Then the multiplexer passes the in cash amount to a subtractor when the product's price is subtracted from it and the result is sent to a register and then to the changed output. The sub-circuit dispenses the four products that are available in the machine. The dispenser sub-circuit has nine inputs. One activate input which allows or activates a product to be dispensed which is generated in the activator sub-circuit. Four vent inputs which cause the product to be dispensed if activate is on and for restock inputs which reset the product count to 50. There are also outputs. Available outputs shows how many products are available to be sold. Empty outputs shows when the products are running low and dispensed outputs which, uh, act uh, which are activated when a product is dispensed. When a vent input is activated, the priority encoder sends the number for that input to the demultiplexer control port. In this way, when a customer selects a product, then the priority encoder transmits its value to the demultiplexer. The demultiplexer will transmit the value present on the activate to one of the four products. When activate is running low or less than five of each type of a product left, then a signal is transmitted and if the amount goes to zero, then the whole sub-circuit is disabled. However, as long as activate doesn't hit zero, the value for the product is transmitted to one of the product's sub-circuit, which will cause a product to be dis 
disposed of when the vent is clicked. You know that when you want to solve a hard problem, we divide it into an easier subproblems, and after we have solved these subproblems, we connect them to complete the hard problem. So this is what we have done in the vending machine subcircuit. Hmm. But here we see another subcircuit we haven't covered yet. Rosen, would you tell us what non-empty does? Empty subcircuit checks whether the amount of a certain product in the machine is bigger than zero. If it is, there will be no vending since there is nothing left from the product to be dispensed. Thank you, Rosen. Let's analyze now the vending subcircuit. First we get the amount of money put by the customer from the bank. Then if there are enough money as well as products left and the customer has pressed one of the vend buttons, then the vending process is activated and the dispenser dispenses the product to the customer and, all the, and does all the things related to the product. Its quantity, whether it is running low and so on. And basically our main circuit is the vending sub-circuit but with a more user-friendly interface.